In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your blob backgrounds using HTML and CSS with the Unlimited Elements widget creator. I'm going to take you step by step in creating this blob shape for Elementor page builder. So first of all, we want to generate the shape and I stumbled to into a cool website that's called Blob Maker. Let's check it out. So this is Blob Maker. You can click the refresh button and it creates all sorts of random blob shapes. You can play with the settings, the color, and the complexity, the contrast of the shape. Um, and you can play around with this until you achieve something that you think that looks good. So let's just maybe play. Oh, this looks cool. And uh, over here we have a download button. So I'm going to download that. And I'm going to open it first of all in Illustrator, in Adobe Illustrator. So it's opened in Illustrator and as you can see there are some white margins around it and I'm going to want to delete those. So in Adobe Illustrator you can go into document settings, edit artboards and in the preset we can choose fit to artwork bounds. What that does it, cu it cuts off all the white space and now we can hit control S and it saves the shape. Perfect, so that's the first step. Next step uh, will be opening this in, um, we need to open it in some code editing software. I'm going to use Adobe Dreamweaver. And this is the code that we want. So I'm just gonna copy all of the SVG tag, HTML tag. And I'm going to jump back in, into my web browser and go into my WordPress website. In my WordPress website, I'm going into Unlimited Elements, which is a free plugin and that has a widget creator that helps developers create their own widgets easily without PHP or JavaScript. So I'm going to create a new category. I'm going to call it Blobs because I might have many of these in my website and click on that category and over here we can click add widget I'm gonna call this one blob uh, one and the widget name is populated automatically I'm gonna click add widget and double click on the widget that has been created over here in icon you can choose an icon that will uh, represent the widget in the icon in the widget pane in Elementor so it doesn't really matter just something that uh, will symbol that this is a blob in the HTML tab I'm going to paste the HTML and I'm not gonna touch anything right now and um, I'm just gonna click update okay next thing we want to test this out so I'm going into my uh, pages and I have some page over here. I'm going to click edit with Elementor. Perfect. So I want to place my blob behind the content that's over here to make this design a bit more interesting. Scrolling down in the widgets pane and I have my widget that I created with the name and the icon I chose drag it inside and perfect it's in place now what we want to do we want to make this behind the content and we don't want it to push down our content so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the advanced tab and we're going to custom positioning and I'm going to choose absolute now once I have done that what happened is that um, it's been positioned absolute but the content is behind uh, 
what we need to do now is play with our Z index so in the advanced accordion menu over here we're going to change the Z index to 0 once we changed it to 0 all of the content has been pushed above our blob widget and we can continue uh, positioning it so I'm going back into custom positioning and over here we have a vertical offset so I'm just gonna push this to the top and this looks quite cool I don't think I need to make any more changes I'm gonna save now as you can see inside of the widget we don't have the ability to change the color yet so that's the last thing I'm going to show is how we can add a color field so the user can uh, change around and switch the color so I'm gonna click edit widget HTML and over here as you can see there's some inline CSS and uh, that's um, telling this path with the same class over here yeah this is a selector a class selector and it's telling it what color to fill it in so I'm gonna change this from class to style and I'm gonna take the fill color and replace it over here we don't need the style the inline style anymore I'm gonna delete that and in attributes I'm gonna add a new attribute I'm gonna call it color I'm going to choose attribute type color and I'm going to give this a default color. Okay. Once I'm done that, I'm going back into HTML and I'm going to replace this static hex color with the new color over here on the right pane. This is the attribute that we've just added. I'm going to replace that. Click update. And now we can test this out. Let's refresh the page. and I see the color has been changed let's see if we can edit that perfect exactly what we wanted right so that was a quick tutorial about the blob trends and everybody's talking about and everybody's trying to achieve this is a cool way how you can add your own blobs to your designs and how you can position them I hope this tutorial was helpful Please stay in touch and see you next time.